you guys, Bonnie and I thought we'd just crash the weekly graphics meeting and see what James and the graphics teams are up to. So hop down this way with me. Okay. How's it going? Hey. hey. What's your work on? Um, cool stuff. <laughs> Flipping <laughs> unicorns, man. So we've started here and we've ended up here. And this is for the NFL top? Yeah. Yep. That's the. That's not the final one. These are the final ones here. Blown up and on a darker yeah, yeah. background. But that's essentially showing the progression. So you're getting a better idea as to yeah. where we're headed. I think. Mm. Okay, awesome. Yeah, I think I'm liking the white background. I think maybe the dark and dark, you don't... I love this contrast. And I think with logos, you typically get a fairly extreme contrast. You've only got three mm. colors in here, obviously, but... Apart from the rainbow. It really works. Except for the rainbow <laughs> yeah. horn. Should that horn be bigger? Can I have a bigger horn, please? <laughs> sure, James. <laughs> um, in big in. Right there, there. Um, okay, cool. Are we going to go with the, 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 the U around it, or do we decide that wasn't cool? I think it hides the main, unfortunately, mm. and it's really... I tried it around a couple of other ones like that, and it's, yeah. it just yeah, was a bit no, awkward. Yeah, you're right, you're right. So the main's flying backwards, because he's, he's, he's charging into battle, presumably. He's launching himself at an enemy. He's got a target, and he's heading for it. <laughs> <laughs> you do not want to be in the way of that unicorn. <laughs> yeah, there's a really strong Thank silhouette you. at the moment in a flow. Um, with the, the mane coming into the, the face. So if we were to make some sort of border around it, it'd have to really um, work with that silhouette. Yeah, look, scrap the border. I, I actually agree with you. You know what I do like about this one, though, is you've managed to work in some yellows and kind of pinkish tones, mm -hmm. which are kind of a little bit internet unicorny, which I kind of like. Um, but he still looks fierce, mm -hmm. so... I, I, I don't mind that, although that's cool too. But maybe maybe this these are kind of cooler and you, you're not unicorny. So do you want me to try this artwork with those colours? Yes. Right, okay. Do you think that's a little bit feminine, if guys were going to wear it? No, yeah. not that's at all. Red, look, red, at, red. look at this. That's like the most hardcore animal <laughs> imaginable. It does have that internet sort of... It has a spike attached. This is a sort of space. <laughs> This is more it's like flipping Wolverine, it's adamantium claws would, came out of his skull and were colourful. No, I no, I don't think that's feminine at all. It's like hardcore. I aspire to that. As a young boy, I always wanted to be a unicorn. Okay, didn't really. Secrets out. <laughs> I actually wanted to be a unicorn. Nice. Okay, so we've, we've worked on some more jerseys. Yeah. Um, my personal favourite is this one. Oh, okay, so uh, front and back. Sorry, yeah, front, yeah. front and back. So what do you think in this one and, and this one? Those are my two preferences. Well, this is very kind of Bauhaus. Is mm -hmm. that intentional? Yeah, it's very geometric. <laughs> what did you say, Bonnie? I love that one. Why? This one. I know, it just looks cool. There's only, there's one thing that that one doesn't have, though. That's and that's... Right. Yeah, the I, I, I left it off. Oh. I didn't think it necessarily needed it, but if you wanted to put in, we can fit it in there somewhere. Yeah, my, yeah I, I, I do like this as a design, but then it, it, it is uh, moving away. F it, it, it's bringing a Bauhaus element into it, which I kind of like. Mm. I think you've nailed it, but almost nailed it too well in a sense. <laughs> I think this is almost a little more generic, and I hate to say it, we probably have to be generic in this situation. It's all about recognition. Although we could, I mean, we could try this. I mean, this does look, I mean, let's be honest, that looks totally cool. <laughs> it looks like total period piece. Totally. Which period? Um, I'm guessing 80s, 80s, 70s, 80s. Yeah, early 80s. I think of like motorcycle culture associated with this kind of... Am I off on a tangent? I don't know. <laughs> it just reminds me of Sesame Street. I see club scenes. Sesame, Sesame Street? Yeah. Club scene in the 80s. Yeah. Yeah. Sesame, yeah. Sesame Street kind of club. Studio 54. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, club yeah, scene. It reminds me of that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. But I mean, Andy why Warhol couldn't you make this, like, still go into these sort of lines and then like have another line and put Ultimate City up there. Like surely you could merge the two, right? It's a bit, a bit deeper much? than that, I think. It's not just the fact that it kind of goes up and down. Mm. Let, let's stick with this initially and maybe let's keep this on the back burner. Because okay. let's, let's start with the most basic thing and then go from there. So yes, absolutely love this. Great job. Let's do this okay. and, and get those unicorn. And where are the unicorn logos going to go? Here, right? I think so, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You could also, if you wanted, to put a little. Yeah, I was gonna oh, say down the corner. Down yeah. Love it, bro. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. Awesome. Okay, what else we got? Uh, do you want to... Yeah, sure. I've been working on some koi fish. So this uh, is we just talked like... about this ages ago, didn't we? Yeah. So, yeah. this is just sort of like an interpretation of that. I'm trying to think of um, different ways to sort of mesh it all together. So I thought I'd just get some Japanese flowers. It's still a work in progress. What are those Japanese flowers? Uh, Go on. You got to you gotta get it right, yeah. otherwise someone will go... Oh my goodness, that is totally not Japanese. And it's like West Korean. Oh, actually, that might be true. <laughs> no, they're like lotus flowers. Yeah. Okay. I don't know. It's yeah, no, no. Well, there are going to be like lily pads and lotus flowers. I'm thinking like a bit of a green, greeny black background. I love their little moustaches. Yeah, they've got little, they little like mushies. They look like old men. They look like slightly angry old men. <laughs> love angry old men. <laughs> Okay, yeah, and then obviously we can get some really great like shimmer effects as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, sure, I'll play with some gradients and stuff like that, so leave it with me. So, yep, koi carp, love it. What other elements usually go with koi carp? You get the flowers, the carp, the water. And like usually there's some, like the, the water's like, like splashing, like really mm. Japanese splashing effects. And I sort of tr tried to take a bit of tattoo mm. style as well as like... Um, just some traditional t type of paintings with the flowers and stuff like that, so... Yep, love it. Awesome. Cool. So that's lots of fun, that'll be coming out soon. So there'll be lots of kind of oranges and whites. Yeah. And blue. Yeah. Yeah, I think girls will really get into that. Um, awesome. There was one more thing we, we wanted to look at in terms of original artwork. So this one's... I so the story the... behind this was, I, um, I had this idea of doing... Uh, back in the early days when I was like doing t-shirt designs, I did like this kind of like a cute character, um, and he was like a freak, and um, he was actually pointing and accusing other people of being freaks, but he was a freak himself. It's a really cool little piece of artwork. Um, and so I challenged the guys to come up with a cute character, and I worked on a couple myself as well. Uh, and this is what we've, this is what Ken's come up with so far. I, I went off on a tangent. Do you want to explain um, so the, the tangent? Idea, I've called it Little Bear's Big Adventure. And there's this little adventure bear, and she's she's out camping. This is her. And, yep, being in the wilderness, and she's got this little monster as an imaginary friend who who helps out. This guy. Who's like collecting firewood and stuff. And it's, he's he's a bit dopey. He's a bit dopey. Would that be yeah. fair to say? Yeah. Not to his face, oh, but no. just kind of. He means well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it wouldn't hurt a fly, but mm. you know, not the sharpest tool in the shed. The the monster took a few. And he kind of blindly follows her around. Yeah, you're kind of like in a Tyler Durden sort of way. Right. That's Was a bit it? weird. Tyler Durden. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Spoiler alert! <laughs> yeah. But like, what I mean is like, doesn't real. He, he's there but he doesn't interact yeah. with the scenery. Right. Um, it's, it's, in <laughs> that the hint is she's in the imagination. So. Right. And then there's just other sort of like, camping, scouting sort of paraphernalia. This is a good cool. I'm, I'm still. Mm. If you have any ideas, throw them at me because I'm. Do we have a name for her yet? Well, she's just a little bear at the moment, but she's pretty sassy. Pretty sassy. Oh. I think the the this is. I mean, and I'm interpreting your original idea here. So, oh, uh, so this was. These are all the monster ideas. These are the monsters. I don't know okay. Bears. I want this guy too. Okay. Um, see, I interpret it as she's a little bit uptight. She's one of these quite very straight women who are like... Like me. <laughs> Probably based on you. <laughs> Probably based on you. No. She's just a, you know, she's, she's, um, she hangs around the libraries. She's not the most fun person in, in the world, which is why she has to have an imaginary friend. But she's it's focused. Like looking she has into all these my life. Dreams. <laughs> Slightly. Do you want me to give her a little cat? Tolerable. Yes. <laughs> she probably should have a cat. Yeah, I look, I really love that. I, I did want something kind of a little bit simpler. I mean, I had this idea, like, for this ghost. Okay. We, uh, yeah, that's also being worked on, but it's, it's under wraps at the moment. It's what, sorry? Under wraps. Under wraps, almost yeah. like a secret. Super secret club. <laughs> I, I love this, I love how he's got little, like, little stumpy arms. He's like, you know, he's like a little, um... T-Rex. Little T-Rex, yeah, like a little kind of ghostly. You know what's really sad about a ghost trying to hug someone? Is they'll never get a hug back. <laughs> Will they ever give a hug? They like, can't, they can't, they just can't. Can I, something kind of like that. And then maybe some, some kind of teeth, because he's a little bit scary. So he's kind of an innocent ghost. He's lovable. He's dopey. There's no doubt about that. But 
you know, I do like that kind of direction as well. Okay. I don't know. So I'm be interested in us playing around with this. This is obviously a lot more kind of uh, less naive and more kind of artistically complex, which I absolutely love. And I love it that there's almost like a backstory. You get like almost a backstory just from looking at her. Yeah. You don't necessarily have to have explained. You kind of go, okay, I kind of understand this bear a little bit just by looking at her. I want to see his tent because hers is beautiful. It's got flags. <laughs> What's <laughs> his tent? Yeah, like? this could be like really put <laughs> yeah, together yeah. real shruddy. Okay. <laughs> awesome. Thanks, guys. Sure.